Uh, hi, you are watching Enemy.com. We are backstage at a rather blustery opener festival in Poland. Uh, we are here with Moo, or as the, us uh, mispronouncing uh, UK audience might know it, Mo. Um, so, how's your festival season been so far? It's been good. It's, it hasn't been like crazy busy this summer because I've been finishing my album and stuff. So I've just been enjoying the ride and been enjoying the little festivals that I do. This is the very long awaited second album that's I know, been four yes. years in the making. It, oh my God, four and a half. What's, so. been, what's been the hold up? What's the, what's the latest? I think, you know, my first album came out in 14 and then in 15 I had a big song with Major Lazer, the Lean On song. And, I think with the success of that, I, I think it just took me a while, honestly, to just find myself in, you know, in, cause you know, cause I come from a background of something that's a bit more indie and edgy. And then mm -hmm. now with like a, you know, with that song that was like such a big pop hit, I, I you know, cause I'm super perfectionistic when I put out right. music. So I, I, it took me a little while to find my sound and my way to, in a way, marry the two worlds. Yeah. yeah, and uh, you've had uh, more success since then. I mean, you've had sort of big hits in America and, and, and in the UK. Did that change things in terms of the sort of record sort of record you wanted to make? I mean, are you officially big in America now? <laughs> I don't, uh, I mean, you know, I haven't had my own top 20 song in America. So I, I feel like, I mean, you know, there's <laughs> tons of steps to go still. <laughs> and have you got anything big planned for today? Uh, well, I mean, I'm very excited for this show because I actually really love Open. I think it's a really cool festival. And I remember I played it back in 14 and I remember it was one of my favorite uh, festivals of the summer. And so I've been like, yes, excited for this one. But yeah, no, I mean, I'm just planning on, I mean, trying to uh, go crazy, of course, and a lot of energy and just uh, have fun, get into the crowds, do as I used to. <laughs> okay, just, great. Uh, and um, there's been a, a lot of discussion um, particularly this year about sort of gender equality on festival bills. I mean, mm. have you noticed anything changing and any, any improvements being made? Well, I feel like it's definitely something that people talk a lot of, a, a lot about and I feel like I get the question quite often. Uh, and I mean, as I see it, I, I feel one thing I want to say, I think it, it seems like there's a lot of optimistic though, I think within the industry of the female artists that I know, mm. like there, there seems to be so many up and coming female artists and, and females supporting females and just being like, ah, fuck that, you know? So, I mean, so that's really good. I feel like there's a good energy in the whole, like it's a new time. Mm. It's new times that's on the way. I mean, sure, it's not there yet, but you know, uh, yeah. Do, do the kind of the, the headline slots seem like a bit of a glass ceiling at the moment? The people I talk to seem to think that, you know, that we're, we're sort of getting to the point where it's a bit more equal here and there, mm. but there's not that many women doing headline slots. Yeah. No, I know it does kind of suck, <laughs> <laughs> but but I, I but you know I I also hate being super negative about mm. these things because I do honestly believe that with the new generation and with the youth coming and and also as I experienced that I feel like there's a uh, that there's a strive to to try and really be open to like hey it's you know equality like of course it's not like any gender is better than any other genders mm. uh, you know and so. I want to be optimistic about it, even though it does, of course, suck that we are lacking women on the headlines. How, how do you feel about um, moves that, for instance, where Wireless uh, announced an all-female stage um, at their festival, a kind of a last-minute thing? I mean, people kind of hailing that, and some people thought it was a bit tokenistic, and I haven't you know, heard about been, that. Yeah, it should have been a bit more sort of integrated. But I mean, is, is that? I mean, how do you feel about something like that? <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's tricky. It's, it's a way it's I think one, it, it is tricky because, again, I also always have this thing of like, you know, every time I get the question, how do you feel about being a woman in the industry? Some, sometimes it almost sounds like it's like, like a victim role, like, oh, yeah. you're the victim. I mean, and I don't want it to be like that. I just, I, I don't want it to be like, oh, poor women. Oh, you know, like, it, I wish it could be, I hope that in the future it's just going to be, we are people doing music. It's yeah. not about you are a woman doing music and you are a man doing music. It's just, we're here doing music and we're all playing great yeah Yay. I mean, it's, it's important never to ask a question of like what it's like being a woman in music it's more just the, the, this discussion is sort of ongoing at the moment about yeah um, getting getting sort of 50 50 splits on, on on bills and stuff like that totally um what so what other plans do you have for the summer have you, have you got more stuff coming up uh well i mean i have a couple more festivals uh and then the album is gonna drop later this year what can we expect from the record well it's personal and uh and uh, it's a mix of pop and a mix of some of my old sounds a little bit. And then, I don't know, you know, within these last 
five years I have changed, the music have changed, and the people I have been working with have changed, so it's going to be different. It's very hard for me still to analyze on it, to be honest, because it's, you know, I only just delivered it. And I guess uh, you've been living with it for quite some time, so. Also, yeah, also that, but but I think I'm still, uh, it's still in that thing where it's like, you know, now it's actually coming out. I, I feel like I'm always, uh, it always takes me a little while to digest. <laughs> okay, great. Well, thanks very much indeed for your time, Me, Really great to meet you. Yeah, nice and, to meet you uh, too. Yeah, uh, stay tuned for more stuff on enemy.com. <laughs>